According to the Bible, the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If the devil wants to destroy your family or a certain family, he might try his best to get one of the family members to join a certain cult, to be a witch, a wizard, or to bring demonic altars or altars against God's will or altars which had never been in your family. The reason why the devil tries to get one of your family members, it is because it is easy to access the family because there is DNA connection. It is easy for these people because they know exactly where to touch. They know your weaknesses, they know your strength. For you not to be attacked or for you not to be accessed demonically by these people, it is to try as much as possible to keep peace with them by ensuring that you easily forgive and you're not bitter and to avoid jealousy. If your enemy, who is a close relative, succeeds, avoid jealousy as much as you can. If they annoy you willingly or unwillingly, and most of the time they will annoy you willingly, be easy to forgive and don't be bitter with them. If it's your mother or your aunt or your brother, your sister, your uncle, your mother, anybody who is close to you, comes and annoys you. Of course, you can get annoyed, but remember, the sun should not go down if you are still angry. They can call you only to insult you. A person can come to your house, take something without your permission. A person who is close to your, is your relative can borrow you money or something, and they cannot return, and deliberately will not return, so that you get annoyed and they can use the demons to attack you. What will you do? Of course, you have to ask God to give you wisdom on how to handle such situations. But all in all, avoid being bitter, always forgive. If somebody comes to you, maybe it's your close relative with a teacher, and your son or your daughter is in that school, that teacher who is your enemy and who is your close relative can decide to mark wrong what is right. So that your daughter can come and ask you, your son can come and ask you, and you get bitter with that person. And once you get bitter, once you carry this person, these people in your heart with the bitterness, it is easy for you to be accessed by the demons because already you are a sinner. Don't be carried by emotions when dealing with such people. Ensure that you forgive and pray for them because even if they die, remember. The death of a sinner is not beneficial to God's kingdom. They will go to hell and the demon, demons will benefit. Pray for them and in most cases the Holy Spirit will guide you on how to handle such situations. And may the Lord bless you.